Hello, I'm here at the Crumbs and Doily shop in Soho and on the way in I passed a florist and I picked up these beautiful hydrangeas and I love how frilly they are and how lovely the colours kind of blend together and I thought I'd show you guys a really simple way of decorating your cupcakes to look like hydrangeas, so here we go. Now you're not going to need very much equipment for this style of icing but you are going to need a piping bag and piping nozzles. Now there's loads of different kinds of piping nozzles out there, different shapes and sizes and different manufacturers call them different things like numbers or codes or names. But what you're going to need to look for when you're ordering or going to buy one is for it to be a closed star nozzle like this one. So you can see it's a six point star with a very, very closed shape and it's very different to an open star nozzle where the points are kind of straight upwards. So of course you're also going to need some cupcakes and some buttercream. I'm using vanilla cupcakes and vanilla buttercream. You can use whatever flavour you like but vanilla buttercream is obviously much better for using because it starts off as being white so you can make it any colour you like. And I have coloured mine really delicately using a colour paste in a kind of blue, a, a kind of dusky blue. And I've also got some lilac here as well. So first things first, I'm going to put my special piping nozzle into my piping bag. So I've snipped a hole in the end and that's just poking out nice and neat there. And I've also turned over kind of excess bit of the piping bag to, commit, to form a nice safety collar so it doesn't go all over the place. And the trick to making a really pretty hydrangea with all the blended colours is to layer up the icing. So I've got my two colours here and I'm going to use a palette knife just to kind of layer it up within the bag. So to start with I'm going to use blue and I'm going to grab a blob of that with my palette knife and going right into the bottom, just kind of spread it all up the inside of the piping bag there to create the first layer of colour. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the purple, kind of gently layering it on top. And building up the layers so that eventually I've used up all my icing and my piping bag is nice and full. Once it's all in there, just give it a little bounce and then bring that collar back up and give it a twist so it doesn't all come out the top. Now before I start icing my cupcake, I'm just going to make sure that all the colours are nice and blended and there's probably a bit of a solid colour in the tip here, so I'm just going to make sure I get rid of that first into this bowl. And once you start to see both colours, it's time to start icing your cupcake. So starting in the middle, I'm just going to do little blobs all over the cupcake, sort of short, sharp little stars, if you like. And then once I've got the main cupcake covered, I'm going to start layering it up, doing lots of lovely frilly petals. And there it is. Look at how pretty they are, really frilly and beautiful blending with the blue and the purple. And don't forget that hydrangeas come in loads of different colours, so experiment with that. I've got some white and green as well, so I'm going to do a few more of these and some of those. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you give this a go because it's a really simple, effective technique and it looks brilliant. 
And if you need a vanilla cupcake recipe, be sure to check out my video on vanilla cupcakes. And if you're looking for more tips and techniques on buttercream piping, then be sure to check out my video where I show you a little bit more about nozzles and what you can do with them. I'll be back next week with another recipe for you guys. So until then, happy baking.